Hi, this is Katie. In a previous video, I had showed a whole stack of cards that I made with this stamp set. And as I went through that stack, I, um, I mentioned three or four different cards that I was going to come back and do a video and show how I made those specifically. This is one of those cards. There's going to be some sponging involved, and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks actually with the stamp as well. So to do the sponging, I needed a clear line between where my blue was going to go and my sunset. And I created a mask by just tearing a piece of paper randomly. I'm going to put my project off to the left and use this for my work area. The water was the bottom part. So, so I've got all my ink pads ready to go up here with a sponge dedicated for each one. When you do sponging, you need to use an art sponge. Stampin' Up! sells them in a package of three round sponges. You can feel how, see how squishy they are. You cannot use a sink sponge because those things, well, you know what happens after you've used a sink sponge. It just gets rock hard when the moisture dries out of it. And these things stay soft and squishy. So it has to be an ink sponge. Stampin' Up! sells them in a package of three. They're round. I cut them up into, I cut them into six pieces. And then I just keep them with a little, um, piece of paper on there so I know which color is on each sponge. And then you can reuse the sponge as long as the sponges last. The other thing I'm going to point out real quickly, nothing to do with this card, but Stampin' Up! a couple of years ago changed to a new style ink pad. This is the new design, that's the old design. And you can tell the difference because the old ones have three little dots here and the new ones are um, smooth. The new ones are a little bit thinner and not quite as long. The old ones were hinged at the front. So where those three dots were, you pushed to release it, and then it hinged in the front, and then you slid it back and lock it into place. The new ones are hinged in the back. So you release it and um, flip it over and then pull it back. So once again, the new ones hinged in the back, and the old ones hinged in the front. All right, I'm one of those people who likes everything ready to go before I start. Second try, and I'll tell you why it's the second try. I forgot to mask my moon. So what I'm doing is taking a post-it note because it's sticky and a punch and punching a circle and I'll put the circle on where I want the moon to be and then my ink will not cover the paper right there. Okay, so let's go back and try this again. I'm being as careful as I can not to lift that post-it note. And applying my darker color, kind of going a little bit lower. I'll come in with some lighter colors here. Sunsets are kind of messy, full of lots of color, right? So I've got my color down. Now I have my moon, which I didn't have on the other side. And here's the other piece of this paper. So this is the piece of paper that was my mask. And this is the other part to it. So I need to lay this other part to it on top of my sunset so I don't get water up there. And I can come back with the blues. Okay. Now we're ready to put on the moose and the trees. The moose, I wanted his feet in the water. I wanted his antler behind the moon. For this tree, I can just sit on the side. But now I have a problem because the stamp set doesn't have anything remotely resembling the grass that's down here. So what I did was I took that tree 
and turned it on its side. This is so cool. Watch this. I was impressed. It works amazingly. Get my mask back on here because we don't want tree in the sideways tree in the water. So I'm just going to come like this. And look at what that looks like. Isn't that cool? Come back and do it on the other side. Let's scoot him out of the way. And just kind of fills in the base. So there you have it. Tree functioning as a tree and turn it sideways and the tree can be grass. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you feel like you learned something that's going to inspire you to go play. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know that people like this kind of content. If you subscribe, then you'll get notifications when similar things get posted. And I will put a product link below to all the things that I used in making this video. I hope you have a great day and see you next time.